Hey everyone, it's Jamie here, and today I'm going to show you a range of cabins on board Fred Olsen's Borealis. Thank you to the social media team for allowing me access and for using some of the company's 360 degree footage. Let's start inside and a look at our very own interior cabin, deck 2, aft, 183 square feet. This is a four berth cabin, perhaps not obvious at first glance. The two single beds can be converted into a queen. The third is a bed that magically comes out of the ceiling and accessed by a ladder. And the fourth is actually the rather large couch come sofa bed. As far as interior cabins go, this was a very good size in comparison to other cruise lines we've said with and with a good sized and very nicely tiled bathroom too. For a 25 year old ship, this is still one of the better inside cabins we've frequented and of course it's the cheapest on board notwithstanding any deals. No, there's no natural light but if you like it dark at night this will not disappoint. You won't have a clue if it is time to get up in the morning however so do set your alarms. True story. A superior ocean view has a picture window for some natural light and those ocean views. These cabins on deck 2 offer 214 square feet, again a very good size and many come with a bathtub. You'd be correct in thinking the layout is similar to that of an interior cabin but you'll notice the bathrooms offer a little more space. Whilst I know the decor is not contemporary by any stretch of the imagination, these are very comfortable and spacious cabins, plus a good compromise between an interior or balcony style cabin. Ocean view cabins are a little more snug with between 140 and 160 square feet, so smaller than interior cabins, but they do offer some natural light thanks to the portholes. These are located forward and aft, so you might feel the movement of the ship a little more here. A terrace cabin is certainly reminiscent of more traditional cruising with direct access to prom deck from your floor to ceiling doors with your own designated sun lounges. But don't worry, those doors are actually one-way mirrors, so you can have a good nose at who's outside and they'll never have a clue you're watching them. Okay, that sounds just a little bit creepy, doesn't it? Uh, moving on swiftly, at 218 square feet, you can enjoy even more space than the ocean view cabins. And here are those cabins from the outside. Restricted and fully restricted view terrace cabins are similar, only there's a large picture window and easy, not direct, access to prom deck. This is a restricted view cabin as you can only see the ocean via a sheltered part of prom deck. Fully restricted means you won't have an ocean view at all, just that of prom deck. The showers here are, however, supersized, room for four in those folks, enjoy that. Make sure you check deck plans for these cabins however and that you get the view you want or indeed deserve. Let's have a look at the balcony style cabins on offer now, starting with the balcony suites located on decks 6 and 7 offering a very spacious 283 square feet with a separate living area, floor to ceiling window and of course the balcony with lounges and a table. These cabins also come with a sweet dreams package, a welcome bottle of sparkling wine, fruit basket, flowers, bathrobe and slippers, free pressing service for formal wear, binoculars, atlas, afternoon canapé service, umbrellas and a daily newsletter. I have to say I was very impressed with this space and the sense of luxury too. My tour guides literally had to pull me out kicking and screaming and yes I am that dramatic.
The only slight drawback of these balcony suites, in my opinion, is that the bathrooms were just a little bit on the tiny side compared to the rest of the cabin and its luxurious feel and space. Balcony Junior Suites are in a similar vein with a little less space at 244 square feet, less stress on your wallet as a result, but still offering the Sweet Dreams package and a lovely luxurious feel. Again, an impressive, comfortable space I would have very happily frequented. As for suites, well, this is the Olsen Suite, a whopping 1,181 square feet with a king-size bed, separate living and dressing areas, large balcony with table, chairs and lounges, and unsurprisingly was occupied at the time I was on board, so I can't show you around just as well. I would have chained myself to that cabin, I think. At 568 to 644 square feet and less ka you can enjoy a premier suite. Again, with a king-size bed, separate live-in dressing areas, balcony with table, chairs and lounges, just a little bit more snug than Olsen Suite. I would not say no to this, I can tell you. If you are looking for an adapted cabin, there are large adapted suites to enjoy, 658 to 644 square feet in fact, with the same facilities and amenities as the suites I've just shown you. Have a look at some of the adapted features to see if this would suit your needs. If you want something more affordable, there are also adapted balcony junior suites at a very respectable 244 square feet. Even more affordable are terrace adapted cabins at 218 square feet with direct access to prom deck. And there you have my tour and comparison of the accommodation choices on board Fred Olsen Borealis. Do you have a favourite? Are you team in, out, or are you shaking it all about? Or waving your hands in the air like you just don't care? Drop your comments below and I'll get back to you. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. <laughs>